The purpose of the video is to explain the power of civil cells, especially when working with roundabouts. While we don't have a dedicated roundabout design tool, we uh, allow for engineering judgment. And when we consider what we had in the past to what we currently have, civil cells are a very viable solution to the design of roundabouts, especially in North America. Concerning Europe and the Stockdale method, I'm working on a new methodology for placing of civil cells that will address that method. Um, so to point out, the civil cells in the service pack release or the second release, um, because of some underlying changes in the code, they don't perform the same way. The other thing we have to look at is the complex geometry that it's being placed on. So I have an example data set from Nebraska and this shows some complex alignments. We also want to show in the video that uh, number one, some things previously shown um, by others were perhaps inaccurate regarding the civil cells we deliver. And number two, uh, again, the civil cells are meant to be an example and the agency should work on development of their own to address their own specific situations and I would be glad to help anyone in that manner. So the last thing is that no matter how well we conceive or develop or design a civil cell, uh, every geometry is different and there are going to be times when a civil cell will fail on placement just like the old roundabout tool with the geometry in those tool sets um, but with knowledge of how the cell was constructed uh, the cell can be corrected on placement so we're going to look at that very quickly and we'll come in and place and what I've done is I've regenerated the cell that was delivered uh, in an unfinished state uh, missing end conditions and some simple terrains in the middle of the splitter islands um, but these would have no effect on the placement of the cell whatsoever um, a, apart from perhaps duration as any kind of corridors bog a design file down so uh, we're going to begin by placing this by selecting the baseline the circle edge of pavement and the crown line after a few seconds the initial placement shows up. Now I'm going to rotate the cell by changing the direction on the circle and we see immediately um, a problem and at first glance uh, the user may say well that's this is hopeless I simply you know the cells messed up but the reality is it's because of the geometric curve coming out of the splittered island that um, this cell is drawing the way it is and I don't want to say failing because it's really not failing it's just doing what the geometry was intended to do now if we look at this the intent of a roundabout is for traffic to slow down cautiously entering the circle and in theory speed up leaving the circle so we want to cautiously bring people in and expediently get people out and so at first glance the geometry uh, being messed up uh, is inaccurate and so forth but a lot of this is because the orientation and the width and so forth of the cell so we can go ahead and uh, simply uh, reset to skip and I'm going to accept the placement now this may not work in all situations in some situations the user may actually have to go into the library and modify the geometry to get it to place so everything comes in but in this situation really all that's failing is the edge of pavement and the inner inside edge of pavement and the reason it's failing is because of the curve of the alignment and all a user needs to do is come in and turn on his constructions and expose the central triangle so the central triangle makes this cell very powerful and the central triangle is actually a key methodology in place in some of the European standards and Aussie standards. Uh, there are several 
methodologies for design. Uh, and all I want to do is change this and uh, again by um, selecting the triangle and using the triangle to guide traffic in a more direct manner leaving the circle in this case we're in the United States so we're traveling through the circle in a counterclockwise manner and you can see immediately uh, as soon as I move that uh, I'm able to begin making modifications and because all the pieces are in the cell and are in an orderly manner everything shows up or uh, displays as it's intended and the user can then come in and make any modifications they want in a visual manner and this is very very powerful um, another misconception about the cell is that oh, with the circular beginning and end that the cell needs to avoid this area and this because these cells now in this case the approaches were only meant for a circle if this were an oval per se uh, this approach would actually have to be redesigned because what happens in this approach is the seam has been created with an arc that's been snapped to the ends of the flares now because the arcs not dependent on the circle edge of pavement we can place this starting position or the low point or what have you at any given position and it's not going to affect our cell uh, in the least and they are flash and moved and again anytime we deal with a corridor we have to wait for the corridor to update and so forth and so you can see here my cells not been the approach has not been affected by putting the starting position of the alignment for the circle in to the approach so this is a very good thing and it allows great deal of freedom again should the rotary uh, not be a true circle then we'll have to rethink or the user would have to perhaps redesign that seam line not to say the approach couldn't be used but the seam would then have to be reinserted or modified to work. So that's just a few um, basics. Now we'll notice we'll place the one last approach um, on the circle along the top and so we'll select the baseline edge of pavement and the crown and we will um, get this to once again flip around and this time we'll rotate the baseline as well and we'll reset and accept and there we have it placed and notice the geometry because the curve is not as pronounced on the northern approach uh, the geometry works in this case without any modifications but again modifications can easily be made at this time now this cell again is in a, a base format um, I, I should group these together and um, create more complex elements or more direct elements along the edge uh, but that would be the next step in the progression of this cell. So with the horizontal geometry working, uh, that can then be done along with any templates. Uh, the user could opt to place the templates after this point. You know, it is entirely up to the user how they want to go about grading this or, or designing this. But this is a very, very powerful way of implementing cells.